Tor war. <lacht> Hey folks, and welcome back to Pantia. Beautiful day here. Today we have a guy straight out of ASQ. He's, he's kind of moving here, and he, he sent me a couple condos he was looking at, and the deals weren't spectacular, and they were kind of far out of town. And I said, hey, look, I got, the, I got some friends here that might be able to help you. He's looking for a one-year lease. Uh, yeah, short-term leases, probably an agent isn't the best way to go, one, two, three months. I can, I can show you later how to, how to procure one of those and get a good deal on your own. But for today, we're going to go down here to my Patia condo, and if I can make it through the construction here, this is something else. And uh, we'll, we'll check in on the current market conditions, and we'll see if we can find our, our guy here, fresh out of the ASQ, uh, a, a reasonable accommodation in a, in a short amount of time, and something he's going to be happy with. So let's jump into this. The road in here is a, is a wee bit precarious at the moment. Every time I come up here, it gets worse. The first time, it was just like dirt gravel. And then a month or so ago, it was dug up. <laughs> now, there's just a little path to squeeze by on. It'll get better from here. I can't imagine it getting any worse. Morning, Mr. Robert. <laughs> so, I made it through the, the road. Your thoroughfare, your... your uh, well, you got the right equipment for it. Industrial if Boulevard. It, if you can't make it to our office on that, you'll never make it on anything. So, so, one of the things that, that happens is the market can change in a minute. So we've got a guy fresh out of ASQ, basically yesterday, and there was several units lined up. Just in the process of setting that up and then going to look at them today, two of them have already been rented. So why is that? Well, the good deals go quick, and that's why you kind of have to be here to get those. The other thing is, there's people coming here every day, new people arriving every day, and there's people that are already here that are looking to either upgrade into a into maybe a cheaper situation for the same thing. Maybe they can get the same condo for cheaper rent, or maybe they can get a better condo for cheaper rent. So there's some of that going on, and there's the new people coming in. So all that put together, they go quick. It's a very fluid situation. So, but it is still possible to go from ASQ to condo, just in a day or two. A lot of people message me and say, well, how long is this gonna take? How long should I book a hotel for? It's up to you, it can take as long as you want or as short as you want. You can be out of the hotel and into a condo just in a matter of a couple days. So we'll go out today and we'll see, uh, see what kind of luck we have. But I just wanna press the point that it does change very quickly and a unit that is available today could be gone tomorrow and rented. So uh, that's why you really have to be here on the ground looking at them and jump on the deal when you see it. So let's go. So we'll just pile in the car here and head out. Now we've got to go pick up our new arrival. He's, a, he's at a hotel in North Patia, a hotel that I'm familiar with that I've stayed at. Good choice, actually. So uh, our agent here, uh, Kun Oi, her name is Oi. I've never worked with her before. I have met her, but first time, uh, you know, going, going to look at a unit with her. So we'll see how she does. And we'll go pick up our man. And our first, the first condo project that we're going to head to is called Unix. He wants to be in town. Uh, he didn't like the idea of being so far out of town. So we're going to kind of stick to the central area. And here we are arriving at his hotel. So we'll pick him up and we'll go over to Unix. So yeah, despite being in this building before, I was quite awed by this unit when I walked in with that whole whole open sliding glass door there and that tremendous view. So uh, Kun Oi here did a good job picking this out. Everything is uh, ready to move in if you need 
like some more glasses or knife and fork, we can provide that more. But if this one, what floor? Thirty third floor. Thirty third floor. Okay. And how much one month? Uh, this one for twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. Two bedroom. How Two many bedroom. Uh, square uh, meters? Sixty-two square meters. Sixty-two. Yes. 60 oh, sixty-two. Square sixty-two. Is that good? That's that's big. That's I have no idea. <laughs> I tell you what. Walking in here, the whole wall opens up. The entire living room wall is a sliding glass door. It's got to be 12 feet across here open, at least. And it opens up to this view of the harbor, all of Patio Harbor. And then you can see over here to Cozy Beach. You can see water, 180 degrees. What a view. Fantastic. 33rd floor. And around the corner, you can even see the dark side. I mean, it's just, it's a corner unit. With a corner unit, a lot of times you get the best views. And this kind of sits on a mountain already on Pratham, the, at the foot of Pratham Knock Hill, or the, the base of Pratham Knock Hill is where Unix is. And it's, it's already elevated a little bit, even on the first floor. So the time you get up to the 33rd floor, you've got a tremendous, tremendous view. And I think, maybe the biggest sofa i've ever seen in a condo uh it's like a bed i don't think it's a sofa bed i think it's a normal sofa but it's like the size of a bed but very well decorated very nice fridge samsung freezer and refridge unit uh hard to get a better unit than that in a condo very rare to find anything bigger than that in a condo usually there'll be smaller units um, and 60, I think she said 62, 63 square meter. That's for a two bedroom. That's probably average, which you're going to find in the newer units. There's older units you can find 100 meter one bedrooms. You never know what you find in the older units. The newer units, two bedroom, somewhere between 62, 65 square meter. That's going to be, that's going to be your average. Um, very nice. Very nice. I mean, somebody just come in here, out of fresh out of ASQ, to go into a condo like this right away. Uh, with that view, the location, very nice. They got a convenience store downstairs. One of the best restaurants in town is right next door, Peaky Blinders. Uh, great Sunday roast, maybe one of the best Sunday roasts in town. Uh, easy access to Pratanak, Walking Street. You can walk to Walking Street in five minutes. What's not the like? <laughs> Two pools, private cabanas, terraces, gyms, outside little workout area, inside gym. Depends on your budget. There are one bedroom, small units available here, but I, I thought about this building, but I tell you what, had I seen this unit instead of the unit that I saw, now this was more money, this was more money. But if I'd have seen this unit with that view right there, I don't know. It would have been. I would have been much more tempted. It would have, would have been a much harder decision for me. <laughs> so as good as the unit was, our new arrival still found a couple issues with it, which is good because it gets him thinking about the things that are important. He he wanted a washing machine. He wanted a bigger bed. He's kind of a tall fella. Quick coffee break. <laughs> the uh, what you run into around the middle of the day the people at the condos that work there will take a break and then you basically can't do anything for that hour you can't conduct any business for that hour so you got to take a break the Amazon cafe I like Amazon the Thai version of Starbucks so yeah I was starting to kind of take shape here our, our new arrival needs a a large like a king size bed he'd also like to have a washing machine and i think also a, having a television in the bedroom was was important to him so he's kind of learning these things as he looks at units here and that's going to help uh oi here find him the ideal unit i also took him by and showed him my condo real quick i think he liked that but we'll uh get a quick coffee and then we'll go off to the next place which will be the base so I told him it's important to look at three four at least three four different projects even even if it's something close so it gets an idea of 
it's always going to be a compromise. You're going to compromise on different things. So I think it's important to look at a couple different things and then kind of lay all that out in your mind. So we'll take a quick look here at the base. It's always real cool right here in the base walking in. It's always a real nice breeze here and it's shady. It's lovely walking. <laughs> Bedroom. And this could be your desk over here. Yeah. And the big bedroom has a king bed, so okay. And a TV. And a TV, oh, man. Later. You got your TV. <laughs> and you know what? This is a better TV than you got in the lounge. This is a Samsung. Yeah. So one in the lounge is some no-name Chinese brand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the windows are a bit lower, you know? Oh. How much is this one? This one is 18,000. Okay, we're on the 18th floor and it's 18,000. No washing oh, let machine. Me, let me double check. Um, no, no, I'll tell you what we'll show. I'll notice it straight away. 16,000, sorry. 16,000. 16, and also what I'll notice here is not. 16 reduced from 18. Ah, okay. But 18th floor. 18th floor, 16,000. Oh, that's better. So, the 18th floor here, one thing. The ceiling height, yes. the ceiling height is very good in these. I never noticed that before in the base, but I'm standing on the, the balcony. I, it's way up there. <laughs> Great ceiling height. And the, with the two bedrooms anyway, you get a very generous balcony, very generous balcony. The second bedroom when, on the two bedroom units is a little bit small. It, it's very small, it's like a kid's bedroom, but the rest of it's about normal. A nice Before common area. That one is not smart to you. But really, I think this unit matches more closely what our man is looking for here. They've got a TV in the bedroom. They've got a washing machine. Certain things he wants. Got enough room for a work area right over here. And he's got a he's got a gym here. He's got everything he needs, and it's in Central Patia, and it's below budget. Uh, Sixteen thousand for this unit is a pretty good price the two bedrooms when I looked. I looked just four or five months ago. The lowest at that point that I could get on a two bedroom here was around 20. This was 18, reduced to 16. Um, I kind of wrote the base off because the one bedrooms were too small and I needed a two bedroom, but the two bedrooms were above my budget. I didn't want to spend more than 15. So I kind of wrote the base off immediately. But now, here's one for 16 about 60 square meters 62 square meters something like that great big generous balcony all the amenities two tvs the, the washing machine nice refrigerator so that's uh, much more workable all right so that's the day we went to unix grand avenue the base and one thing we learned and that is you have to be here and look at the units you do really. If you're not here and look at the units and you try to do it from a picture, you'll never get the feeling, you will never get the true, uh, you're, you will never make the best choice. Once you come here, you can tell right away. So it's worth it to spend a couple hours going around. And I think we got it narrowed down and uh, probably just, I don't know, two, three, four days out of ASQ. Uh, two days. Two days. Our man's going to be in a condo that he's going to be comfortable with, happy with, <laughs> and you know, in a short amount of time. So and that's how it thanks works. Thanks to Mr. Lucas. <laughs> Thank you very much. And and oi. I'm sorry. Oi, oi. And oi, oi. oi, oi. Very helpful. Beat her mask on too much. Very helpful. <laughs> But um, that's what you got to do, guys. You got to come here and look at them. Forget the pictures. So there you go. Our, our new arrival uh, since messaged me, and he has settled on a unit, and he moves in in two days. He seems like he's very happy with it. I just wanted to give you the perspective of somebody coming here and coming through the, the ASQ, the quarantine, and then kind of jumping right into the fray of things and immediately uh, looking for the condo. And just to kind of show you how 
how that process could work and and really how quickly if you kind of know what you want uh, you can get into something and even if you don't know a hundred percent what you want by looking at a couple units I think that'll all come together for you and you'll see all the little things that are important to you because after all everybody's going to value different things in a higher regard than others so there you go uh, our man also told me he's already secured a, a Thai bank account so these things these things can happen quickly once you're here there, there can be a certain level of anxiety you build up before you come here because you do have a you do have a lot on your plate when you get here but once you're here and especially if you you talk to the right people and kind of know what you want all those things can be cleared up uh, just in several days really so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and leave this one off right here and as usual i'll thank you for watching and until next time bye for now